back to the internal externally equalized expansion valve. I bring this back up because if there is a distributor feeding the evaporator, that's going to eat up pressure and there's going to be the second most pressure drop going that you're going to encounter in the system when you expand that refrigerant across the distributor. Only second to the expansion valve, you got to take that into account and that means you have to use an externally equalized valve. We can prove that to you by looking at, at, at examples where we take pressure drop across an evaporator, you take that into account, you're going to find that an internally equalized valve is going to cause the valve to start. And you can correct that, you can correct that by having an externally equalized valve in that same setup. Having said that, from a universal standpoint, you could always use an externally equalized valve in any instance. So I got 10 minutes left. You could always use an externally equalized valve. You just have to run the equalizer and make sure it's installed correctly. Don't plug equalizers. And they don't work worth a shit if you do. Uh, correct distribution. Uh, 